Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Kazi here from Black Cat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. And there has never been a week with more stuff that's fun to read. This is just the DC stack. We're going to start with these guys. There's a million books to talk about this week. The very, very best stuff in comics. All the books you've been waiting for. So follow along with the bouncing ball and I'll try and get through this as fast as I can so you can get down to your local comic shop and pick up lots of awesome stuff. This is Doomsday Clock number 12. This is the book you've all been waiting for. This is the big one. This one's going to uh, rewrite the future of the DCU on and on and on and on. This one's probably already in your list or in your box. If it's not, you got to get to your shop today and pick up this one. Pick up the other 11 if you've missed out. This is a really monumental title. It's been an excellent, excellent book. We're all excited to see how it ends. Doomsday Clock number 12. Like I said, too many other things to uh, stick around on one book. This is Batman number 85, uh, the gigantic conclusion to the whole Tom King run of Batman. Uh, again, this one's going to uh, change the future of the DCU. You're going to hear me say that a lot in uh, the next few minutes. Uh, again, this one wraps up everything that Tom King's been doing for 85 issues. You know we've been loving this stuff. Again, we're really excited to see how that ends. This is Batman Last Night on Earth, number three of three. This is also the end of this really cool futuristic story that everybody's been super into. Grab the other two issues, grab this one. One of the uh, better Batman stories that's come along in a long time. This is Batman Superman number five, another one of the best books in comics. Uh, has a lot to do with all of this infected Year of the Villains stuff. A little more on that later. Nightwing. And Catwoman in my favorite Catwoman outfit of all time. And The Commissioner. Wrap up your other Bat books. This is, of course, your infected title. A lot going on with this stuff. Again, more on that in just a minute. Superman Smashes the Clan. And Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen are your super books for the week. And then Wonder Woman number 83, the main issue as we get closer and closer to the big number 750, the Wonder Woman giant, which is chock full of all kinds of uh, Wonder Woman awesomeness. And then Wonder Woman Dead Earth is the uh, Black Label Wonder Woman book. Wonder Woman getting in on the Black Label oversized uh, mature reader kind of stuff. Everybody's been loving these Black Label books. A lot more Black Label stuff to talk about. Justice League. I mentioned the uh, infected Year of the Villain, all that kind of stuff. This wraps up a lot of what's been going on. But it will continue in Hell Arisen. This is your uh, big Year of the Villain miniseries that's going to, oh, I don't know, encapsulate all of the stuff that's been going on with uh, Justice League and all of the, the Lex Luthor stuff and everything that's not been going on in Batman and Superman. Legion of Superheroes kicks off a whole bunch of team books. DC has all their teams this week. Justice League, Legion of Superheroes, Teen Titans, first issue of a new Suicide Squad, even The Metal Man. DC's kicking out everything, but it's more than just team books. We've also got single guys like Aquaman, which is a book that should be on your list and you should be reading because it's awesome. Or Shazam, which should be on your list because it's awesome. Or Flash Forward, because everybody's into the Flash these days. This one picks up uh, where Heroes in Crisis left off. Great stuff there. And then there's always other stuff like He-Man and the Masters of the Multiverse. I love me some He-Man. I think Skeletor is one of the coolest villains ever made. I always like it when DC kicks out a new He-Man comic. And then lots of uh, Black Label Joe Hill stuff to talk about, like Basketful of Heads. Or the first issue of Low Low Woods. You guys love this Joe Hill stuff. Basketful of Heads has totally taken off, like a lot of the Black Label stuff like Last God or the formerly known as, as Vertigo books like Hellblazer or Lucifer. And last but not least is a couple more black labels. This is your second or last issue of Harleen. The first issue totally exploded and then everybody loved the second issue just as much. Make sure you grab the third one because that wraps it all up. And then this is your Joker Killer Smile number two. Another big oversized black label book. Just for the record, all of this Black Label oversized stuff fits in magazine bags and boards and magazine boxes. So make sure you pick yourself up a magazine box, pack of mag bags and boards to go with all that Black Label stuff you're picking up this week. Then, 
The Marvel size is just as giant. Look at this huge stack of Marvel stuff. Lots and lots of great Marvels to talk about. Let's talk about some X-Books. This is X-Force, probably the second biggest uh, of the X-Books to explode out of this uh, X-Book relaunch. Excalibur, the one I've been following because that's awesome. Fallen Angels with X-23, probably on your list and in the box. New Mutants and the Marauders leaving only X-Men proper as the only X-Book not out this week. So if you've been following all this X stuff, all your books are out this week. If you're not following all the different X stuff, it's a good week to check out something you might that might have gotten by you. And then Marvel has all their teams this week too, like The Avengers. You know The Avengers is my favorite Marvel title, always has been, always will be. Guardians of the Galaxy, The Invaders, Agents of Atlas, and even Future Foundation, along with Runaways. Pretty much every team book Marvel does, except, like I say, X-Men proper, which is probably rolling out in a couple of weeks. But then all the single hero books, too. This is your last issue of King Thor, as Jason Aaron wraps up his uh, years-long run of Thor. Been loving this stuff. Uh, really excited to see the next chapter. Really excited to pick up some giant omnibus of uh, all this Jason Aaron stuff because uh, it's been all-time great. Tony Stark Iron Man gets his last issue in preparation of another relaunch. Black Panther and Daredevil are two of the very best books Marvel does. If you're not reading Black Panther, you're really missing out. If you're not reading Daredevil, you're really missing out. And you know I say that about Daredevil every single time it comes out. It's been Marvel's uh, most consistent book for as long as I can remember, so check out some Daredevil. Cosmic Ghost Rider, the revenge of Cosmic Ghost Rider, because you guys love Cosmic Ghost Rider. Nothing cooler than Frank Castle with his head on fire. Spider-Man from J.J. Abrams. This is the number th the third issue of uh, the Out of Continuity book that's been super, super cool. If you read number one, uh, it made you laugh, it made you cry, and you're going to want to keep following this series while we're talking about spider books. Scream and Ghost Spider. While we're talking about Spider-Gwen, let's talk about Gwenpool. And then let's get back to Spider-Man with Amazing Spider-Man, the one that started it all. This continues the 2099 stuff that's been going on. And speaking of 2099, this is 2099 Omega. Wrapping up all of those side books, I bundled them into a black cat pack for you that has Alpha and Omega. And uh, I think there's seven different one shots. Big fan of this 2099 stuff. Which brings me to Annihilation Scourge. This is uh, the Omega issue of that event as well. I've also put together packs of this one so you can get the Alpha, the Omega, and the four one shots with guys like Silver Surfer because you love Silver Surfer. Speaking of Annihilation, let me take a bit of a tangent to talk about some reprints. Marvel Tales reprints uh, some cool stuff with Moon Dragon. If you don't know a lot about Moon Dragon, she's sure to turn up in the next batch of Guardians of the Galaxy movies. So you're going to want to learn more about her by picking up this one. Or some True Believers, the reprint of her very first appearance in uh, Iron Man number 54, the issue before the first appearance of Thanos, coincidentally. And then a few other True Believers that I want to show you just because, well, that one's got the Super Scroll. And they're only a dollar, and they're awesome, and they're classic comics for a buck, so you can't really beat that. This one's got Mantis. Then we'll get back to the new stuff with History of the Marvel Universe. This is your last issue of this guy, written by the all-time great Mark Wade. Pick up the Black Cat of 1 through 6, and uh, not only is it all the classic stuff that you know and love, but there's a few surprises in this title as well. And speaking of surprises, got a couple of Eternals books for you. This one catches you up, teaches you all about the, the good old Eternals to get you ready for that movie. And then this is the facsimile of the original number one. And then last but not least, we've got some Conan. And then the big gun, this is Star Wars, The Rise of Kylo Ren. You might have heard that there's a movie coming out this weekend. Uh, you're going to want to catch that uh, episode of The Mandalorian today. You're going to want to read this Rise of Kylo Ren. Get you all prepped up for that episode 9. Great stuff. And what a great week for all the other guys, too. It's a huge week for all the other guys, too. They weren't going to be left out of this Christmas madness. This is your next issue of Witchfinder. You know, I'm always uh, taking any opportunity to talk up something Mike Mignola. This 
is your latest issue of American Gods, because we also like to talk up anything Neil Gaiman. This is your first issue of Skull Digger, spinning out of uh, Black Hammer. If you don't know what Black Hammer is, you're really missing out on something awesome. Pick up the first volume trade paperback, and then grab this guy to uh, expand that universe. And Invisible Kingdom is your burger book of the week, because... Dark Horse does all kinds of great stuff. Creator-owned stuff, property license stuff, a little bit of everything. Everybody should have a Dark Horse book on their list. Great week for the image guys. Savage Dragon number 247 lets you know that all the classic image stuff is still rolling. Not just Spawn, not just Witchblade, but also good old Eric Larson's Savage Dragon. Awesome stuff. This is a book called American Jesus. It is uh, previously mysteriously only known as Project Xmas. This is a, a secret book from Mark Miller, but now you know that's the cover, that's the title. Get into your shop, that's your first issue, gotta have it, Image Book of the Week, along with Old Guard and Hardcore Reloaded, also first image, gotta have it, Books of the Week. And then, once in Future from Boom Studios. This is my Boom Studios Book of the Week from the folks that brought you Wicked and Divine over at Image. Uh, they pitched this at Comic-Con. I loved it. I loved the first issue, and so did you. They've been selling out every single issue. This is number five, only one more to go. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is probably your other Boom Studios Book of the Week because you guys can't get enough of the MMPR. Blade Runner is my Titan Book of the Week. Much like uh, Once in Future, we saw the pitch of this at Comic-Con, got the first issue. It was awesome. You know you love the movie. This comic is really great. Totally in the world of Blade Runner, but new characters and, and the whole bit. So grab that first issue. Catch up to the recent issue. If you love sci-fi like I do, you love Blade Runner. Speaking of sci-fi, this is your latest issue of Star Trek Year 5. Because it was a five-year mission, but the show only ran four years. So what happened in year five? Well, now you know. And then... Star Trek's getting in on the facsimile business. This is a giant oversized facsimile of the uh, original Star Trek The Motion Picture magazine. If you're 100 years old like I am, you remember uh, William Shatner's perm and all of the awesomeness that was uh, the first couple of Star Trek movies. This is uh, another, like say, identical facsimile to the original magazine. That's lots of fun. Wellington shows you that uh, IDW does more than Star Trek and Transformers and G.I. Joe. They also do really cool creator-owned stuff. Vampirella is my Dynamite Book of the Week because I love any fusion of horror and science fiction. But Death Defying Devil is probably your Dynamite Book of the Week because uh, everybody loves what a great job they do with the... Uh, Oh, now it's slipping me. These uh, public domain, that's the term I'm looking for. Public domain, golden age characters. Dynamite does a great job with all of this under a uh, Project Superpowers label. Rick and Morty is your only book of the week because you guys love the wacky adventures of Rick and Morty. Bloodshot is my Valiant book of the week. If you, I've been saying for a while, get ready for the movie. If you don't know a lot about Bloodshot, if you don't know a lot about Valiant comics, you've got to get Bloodshot on your list. You've got to get a Valiant book on your list. Pick up Bloodshot, pick up Rye, pick up pretty much anything Valiant does uh, because it's a great fusion of sci-fi, superhero, action adventure. Uh, like I say, the movie's coming, so pick up that big old hardcover omnibus of the old school 90s Valiant Bloodshot. Uh, grab the trade of uh, the, the first trade of, of the new Valiant Bloodshot. Grab these recent issues. Really, really great stuff. And a small week for the kids' books, but lots of fun to talk about. Everybody loves some Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Good old classic adventures in the mystery machine. Marvel Action Spider-Man. Been talking up the great job IDW has been doing with their Marvel line of all ages stuff. Marvel Action Spider-Man, Avengers, Captain Marvel, Black Panther. Lots and lots of great stuff. If you've got a young reader in your life or, you just, or if you're just looking for something a little less apocalyptic than your usual comics, pick up some Marvel Action. And then Snoopy, A Big Old Mars. Have I said sci-fi enough today? Now we've even got Snoopy in on the sci-fi action. Another uh, wonderful bit from Boom Studios. Love seeing anything Snoopy in action. 
huge, huge week of stuff. So make sure you pick up of those hot books you've been looking for. Make sure, uh, you know, it's a great opportunity to try something new, fun and exciting. Lots and lots of different things out there. So check those shipping lists, get down to your shop, pick up something fun to read. Don't forget to share this video so uh, all your friends can see all the awesomeness that's out this week too. Want to give you a brief heads up on our holiday schedule. Uh, we are mostly closed between Christmas and New Year's every year. Uh, this year we will be open. Uh, we're going to close early on Christmas Eve so you can get in here on Christmas Eve, get those last minute gift ideas for uh, those folks you don't know what to buy for. Uh, then uh, we'll be back open very briefly on the 27th uh, for the books from the 26th and to get ready for the following week. Then we'll be closed back up and uh, well you can check the uh, hours and all that good stuff at black-cat-comics.com for all of the holiday info. Have fun while you're out there. Uh, hope Santa's good to you this year. And uh, make sure you get in back in here for the new year and pick up something super awesome. So all we got for you for this week, you can check us out at black-cat-comics.com. Check out the Facebook page, the YouTube channel. Check out the uh, podcast at soundcloud.com. Or just get on down here to the good old brick and mortar in Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.